Many, many thanks for having me here. So, I'm a doctor, I'm a surgeon, and we do the mending and stitching of human body. Uh, stitching, you know, is a very human task with a lot of precision and dexterity. Can you imagine that this stitching has already been conducted by an autonomous robotic arm? by judging all the depth and all the movement and all the curvature without any human intervention. It's amazing, isn't it? And so are many cutting edge innovations taking place every day with artificial intelligence and everything is just going on. So you, you the students, are going to be a part of this disruptive technology and take us and all the future generations into the next level. So are you ready for this change? Okay. So with the same enthusiasm, I started my life journey in 1991 from Mulan Azad Medical College, undoubtedly one of the best medical colleges in India. My background is from a very ordinary household my father being our main source of inspiration as he self-raised the entire family after partition. He always used to say, whatever you do, just be on the top in your role. And so be it. I was amongst the toppers throughout my entire schooling. And but now, I was brushing shoulders with the best students, the most talented, the cream de la cream, in the campus of MAMSI, as we call it. And to be honest with you, my dear friends, my dear students, I couldn't really win any friends over there. You know, friends are so important to hang out, to share your ups and downs, to just crazily burst into laughter, just to take out your blues, to bunk classes, to secretly see movies, check on the girls in the class, yeah? So seniors, seniors are so important because they are your roadmap to the cryptic ways of the college life. And let me share a secret with you. Near the exams, they are very versatile in marking your book so that you can pass. You know, you have to go through big volumes and all. So I couldn't get any of that. I was almost rejected. I was just I, me, and myself. Somehow I managed to crawl through the rigorous and the most strictest form of training that the doctors must undergo to become a caregiver. And uh, life just progressed like that. And uh, even God gave me a beautiful opportunity to work in the best hospitals of Delhi. But even there, I couldn't really mingle and enjoy life. One day, when I was going to our religious place, Gurudwara, I heard some prayers being recited. Uh, where this one word came, Sikhanda man niva matuch, meaning that no matter how high you are aiming, you should always be down to earth and humble and grounded. I realized that whereas I was blaming everyone else for being very mean and very opportunist, opportunist the problem was with me. I was the one. I had created the barrier of ego. And ego, my dear friends, is a very, very big cocoon. It takes you away from reality. It builds barriers on your way to success. Because you, you don't like the criticism. It, it makes you feel down when someone is criticizing you. But let me tell you, this is a very, very important part in your further development. So you should always take it in a healthy way. So please don't let ego take control of you. Now, let me ask you, has it happened to you that sometimes you asked your colleague or your friend for some important notes and he or she secretly hid it away and uh, just didn't share it with you? Did it happen sometimes? Yeah? So, you know, we often feel 
that the knowledge that we gave, when we gained with certain amount of efforts, be it collecting from seniors or something from internet, or we arranged it in a very uh, easy to understand manner, we think it's a treasure and we want to keep it secret. We don't want to share it with anyone. I, as a surgeon, might just believe that my technique is very superior. I, I shouldn't share it with anyone. I'll keep it secret with me, you know? So, uh, <clears throat> this knowledge definitely is a treasure, but a greater tre treasure is the efforts that you are putting, the eagerness to acquire that knowledge. That is the real treasure that no one can take away from you. It is this intrinsic desire and the drive to gain that knowledge which will keep you ahead of others. Knowledge, on the other hand, will become more refined when you share it, discuss it, and deliberate it. So never refrain from sharing knowledge. In fact, at this point, I'll also like to tell you that not only knowledge, you should share your thoughts and views openly with your friends, teachers, and parents. The psychologists have divided our mind into four parts. It's known as Johari's windows. So the first part is one which is known to you and known to the others. The second is the one which is known to you but known to, not known to others, the secret one you want to hide. And the third window is where it is not known to you but known to others, how the world perceives you. And the fourth is unknown to you, unknown to everyone. So if you increase the first window by sharing everything inside you, even your weaknesses, even your problems, you will find that you will win very good friends and you will find solutions to all your problems coming to you. You'll become a very open, more communicative person, a person who has more opportunity and possibility of meeting success. Now, uh, all these years of my life, I found that this life is kind of a roller coaster, with ups and downs. My, <clears throat> this ups and downs. And life is always not remain the same. Sometimes it will give you challenges, and other times it will be uh, a very, very easy walk for me. Now, what do you do? What do you do when you face these challenges? How do you manage these low times in your life? when you are not having uh, good appreciation coming to you. I had a rough patch in the road of my life lasting almost 20 to 25 years when I was no one, no identity. And still I managed to get this prestigious fellowship from the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh, from the American College of Surgeons, Besides practicing as a general surgeon in a private hospital, Zuleika Hospital, I am a clinical tutor for the University of Edinburgh. I'm also uh, the adjunct professor for the University of Sharjah. My surgical videos are, are there on the website of the American College of Surgeons. And I get students from all over the Gulf when I'm teaching courses in the Sharjah Surgical Institute. I'm not a prodigy of the sorts. I'm, in fact, as ordinary as a person on the street. So how did the miracle happen? What were those things that I did in order to just carry on? When life pushed me down, I did not choose to escape or take an easier route. I stood there. I continued. I, I did not stop. Endurance, my dear friends, is the one thing which no one can stop you from practicing. Whenever people around you, you might find them smarter than you, faster than you, but you have, you are born with the inherent capability of hard work, of continuing to work, work, walk that extra mile, and no one can stop you from doing that. Endurance will stay with you in all phases of life where 
you will continue to work and work tirelessly, be it in school or in college or later on in your life when your final career job starts. So, to sum it all, in order to not fail in life, shed ego, shed the inhibition of being secretive, share openly. After all, life is meant to be lived, enjoyed by openly sharing whatever is inside and not keeping it secret inside you. And I am at this point also wanting to share that this endurance is one thing which will not leave you as long as you don't leave it. So continue to work tirelessly. If your friends are working eight hours studying, eight hours you study 10 hours. If they are working out for 20 minutes, you work for 25 minutes. Don't let it go. Also, at this juncture, I am reminded to share one more thing which my mother used to tell me, that never do anything which you feel ashamed of sharing openly. And I put it in the reverse manner. You perform all the gest gestures, all the activities, all the strategies which you feel proud to share openly with everyone. Thank you very much.